Hi friends, today we are going to talk about effects of friction. Do you know why a heavy box on pushing does not move? Why a rolling ball stops after some time? When an object moves in contact with another object, a force known as friction comes into play. The force of friction always acts on all objects and its direction is always opposite to the direction of motion. The moving object gradually slows down and finally stops due to the force of friction. This shows that force of friction always opposes the motion of one body over another body in contact. While riding a bicycle on a road, you pedal the bicycle and it moves on and on. When you stop pedaling, the bicycle slows down and gradually comes to a stop. Why does this happen? This is actually happening because of friction. Friction is a force that is created whenever two surfaces move or try to move over each other. Friction always opposes the motion of one surface across another. Now, this friction is dependent on the texture of both the surfaces. Now, while in motion, the tires of the bicycle are rubbing against the surface of the road. When two surfaces rub on one another, the force comes into play. This force acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion. And so, it slows down the motion and finally, the moving object stops. Look over here, a ball is rolled on a smooth surface and another similar ball is rolled on a rough surface. As you can see, both the balls start rolling on different surfaces with same speed, same force and at same time. But the ball that is rolling on smooth surface travels a larger distance than the ball rolling on the rough surface. What can you understand from this? Rough surfaces offer more friction than smooth surfaces for the same pair of contact surfaces. So, I hope you enjoyed the concept of friction and its effects. Thank you so much.